Hello, I'm Dr. Nies Goat, and welcome to another edition of the Wound Care Window. We know that wound care is moving uh, at an uh, incredible pace in a forward direction, finding new technologies to heal wounds. Regenerative medicine and wound care is also becoming a very hot topic, and it is a big issue and an issue that we're all need to know a lot about from a clinical standpoint. There's technologies that are coming uh, to us on what seems to be a daily basis, and that happened to us here at AZH in Milwaukee. I'd like to introduce you to a new technology. This is the first time I'm doing it, so we're going to learn together. But it's a technology called My Own Skin by BioLab Sciences. And this is an advanced wound care technology, obviously, where we're going to create a graft uh, utilizing the patient's own skin and blood. This will be, uh, samples will be sent to the lab and then expanded and grown, and then uh, we'll uh, then show you the application of that product uh, to the patient's wound. The wound we're treating is uh, this right here. You may remember this young lady from a prior edition of the wound care window where we evacuated uh, her hematoma and manage that with negative pressure wound therapy. What we're left with is a very large residual deficit that'll take a long time to heal by secondary intent. And the idea here is we're gonna use my own skin, not my skin, but your own skin, and uh, we're gonna apply it and uh, just accelerate the healing process. <clears throat> so what needs to be accomplished is we need to take a little skin specimen that'll be sent to the lab as well as a blood specimen. The kit comes uh, well equipped with just about everything that we need to accomplish that. And what I'm going to do is a little skin biopsy. So the kit does come with some lidocaine. We'll draw that lidocaine up. I'm going to harvest the skin sample uh, right from the patient's arm. The reason I'm going to do that is that uh, we know uh, wounds of the lower extremity um, are a little bit more difficult to heal. Up here, this will be no problem at all. Um, and so we'll prep the area with a little alcohol. And then I'm going to numb the skin and raise a little blister here, just doing a little wheel. This accomplishes two things. Not only is it going to give us some anesthetic, but it also raises that little <coughs> epidermal blister, if you will, that we can harvest a little easier. So essentially what we're going to be doing in harvesting just a little, what's basically a pinch graft. I'm going to take that little epidermal blister area, pick it up, and just take a little, make a little slice of that epidermis. So that should be enough. enough. So now we've harvested the skin. This is a little specimen container. That's where the skin goes, okay. So you'll see our biopsy site, really superficial. We'll put a little dressing on that. That'll heal nicely. You can see our skin samples in there, which will be sent off again to create the graft. And then we need to uh, take a little blood specimen and that'll also be sent off to the lab and then we'll do some follow-up next week, right? We have a graft, so next week. <laughs> <laughs>